People often ask me about paint thinning ratios and if there is a rule of thumb, and unfortunately there really is not. For any particular line of paint, each color within that line is formulated a little bit differently. Some colors will require more thinner, while others will require less. So therefore, you're really looking for a paint consistency rather than a specific ratio. So let's discuss this in greater detail. Most hobby colors, whether they're acrylic or enamel, will have a tendency to separate over time when they're not used. So before you use a particular color, you want to give it a good shake. I've already done that with my gloss black, but the next step you want to do is go ahead and give it a good stir before you go ahead and add it to your color cup. This way you just know that the paint is fully homogenized inside the bottle. Now when we add some to the color cup, we automatically know that it's not ready for airbrush use because it's too thick. But just for the sake of example, I'm going to streak it up the side here and you can see how it has a tendency to want to adhere to the side of the color cup and not flow back into the pool of paint. So that's when we start adding thinner. We're going to start off with a few generous drops here and see where we're at. This is generally an additive process where you're going to probably continue to add thinner until you get the proper proportion that you're looking to get. That's getting closer to what I'm looking for, but I want to go ahead and add just a little bit more thinner and get it so that it's flowing just a little bit more for my purposes. Okay, that's the consistency I'm looking for. What I want to see is the paint flowing back into the pool. Now, there's some other factors you want to take into consideration also when you're thinning your paint. For one thing, what is it you're trying to accomplish? Are you working on fine line or detail work, in which case you may want the paint to be a little bit thinner, or general coverage where it's not quite so critical and you can go with it a little less thinned? Another consideration also is what the needle size is in your airbrush. If you're working with a 0.2 millimeter needle or smaller, you may need to thin the paint out a little bit more so that it'll flow through the airbrush properly. If you're working with a 0.3 millimeter needle or larger, then it's not quite so critical.